Mm. Oh. Oh God, we're live. All right, oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, everybody in between, and all the humans that are watching the stream, welcome to the Inner City Long Form Improv Jam. Woo, 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 woo! Everyone, turn on your cameras if you're comfortable and say hello to all the internet that happens to be watching, including my mom. Hello, hi, mom. Hello, uh, Fossil. We have people from, I believe, at least two continents here, um, here in North America and in Europe. And gosh, darn it, thank you, everybody who continues to come in every Sunday, everyone who continues to um, watch the uh, jams. Um, just keeping the fact that inter that we came from inter that we came from online improv, and we're still kind of maintaining it for people that still need access to it. So I'm glad we're here, and thanks thanks to all the people who are participating, all the people who are volunteering their time and everything in between once again. Um, so yeah, thank you. I'm just, I'm just super tired. Um, let's just jump right into it, shall we? Um, I wanna figure out how to do this without um, trends taking this too long. Share sound, share to breakout rooms. I didn't know you can do that. I know you can just share a thing to breakout rooms. Anyways, this is the jam. We've been doing this for, uh, this is our week. This is week 87 of the jam. We're getting close to a hundred jams which is crazy, which means we're almost like at our two year anniversary. Um, it's been the same so far. We have people come in. If you're watching from home and you wanna come join us, uh, we will ask you basically uh, find the link in our Facebook event. Uh, you'll come into a Zoom room and once somebody will ask you, hey, do you wanna do musical improv or non-musical improv? Because we offer both. Speaking of which, can I have popping on screen, please? Can everyone uh, say hello to our wonderful MD for the evening, Mr. Adrian Pellerin from New York City, United States. And Yay! Thank you. That's so awesome. Thanks. Thanks. For people You're who amazing. are watching, um, I'm a I started as a musical director, so I always make sure that we have MDs to play the jam. Um, not just me playing, but just people get a chance to play with other people and see how they do. Um, we're I think we're the only uh jam that's still doing uh consistent musical improv offerings. So hooray for us. Um, but yeah, musical, non-musical sets, you'll see uh, two of them today. They'll be timed at 25 minutes. We'll start with not, with musical improv and then non-musical improv. Um, we'll do it in this form of montage. So don't worry about the, any type of form. Um, if you want to try to do anything as far as the sets go, um, just make sure it's very announced that we're doing it. Uh, for example, uh, things that we use during our sets, sweeps and edits. If you want to sweep or edit the scene, which you want to stop the scene, go to something else. Um, we do the Zoidberg, which we do some kind of big motion and say sweep or edit, get everyone's attention so we know that we're all in agreement, we're moving on to the next scene. Speaking of which, can everyone pop on screen and show me what a sweep looks like here at Inner City? Ready, one, set. Can I switch the musical? Oh. Sweep. Sweep. Yes, um, yes, uh, yes, you may. Uh, uh, Joshua switching to musical. Oh, we're trying things out tonight. Sorry, I didn't have a quicker way of just letting the people know, but yeah, we'll have Josh on musical for someone who has access to our spreadsheet. All right, uh, we also have tag outs. So if I say someone's name, tag out this person, um, they'll disappear on screen and then you, I'll come on. I can guess a second, just tag out myself. Tag out Faustino, and then I do this. And tag out nobody, come back on screen. Um, we use these to help with our um, online sets. Timer warning. Someone is beautiful or is even more beautiful than Bianca is going to come up on screen with their phone to give you an estimated time of um, like how much before the end of the 25 minutes. It's mostly just to give a warning, um, but we do try to look for organic blackouts. So if you see the phone, acknowledge it and then just wrap up the scene where it happens to be so we can move on to other things. Uh, it'll be about two minutes or so, but again, we're just we have people responsible for calling it. So just make sure you please find them and get out to end on. At some point, um, if you are in the audience, uh, we're gonna ask you if you can meet your video uh, video and audio. So it's not interfering with the people playing. Uh, Zoom can only pick up two microphones at a time anyways. So just allowing the people who are playing in the set to do their thing. We'd appreciate it if you just kind of just be in the audience and appreciate it. And we'll just assume that you're supporting it with your beautiful silence. So yeah, uh, but if you are playing though, um, don't be, uh, you can unmute your audio. If you people are laughing at each other, it actually helps support the play too. And we're here just mostly to have fun anyways. People are just peeping on us. 
uh, do that thing. Uh, you might get muted, for example, uh, someone's playing with scissors in the background, whoever that happens to be. Uh, if we hear any kind of background noises or if we find something that's against our like sensitivity policies, um, something that's interfering with the play, then you might get muted. Um, so if you do wanna get muted on uh, the Zoom call, uh, just message myself or another volunteer. Um, we can have you unmuted, but we wanna make sure we can keep the action going at all times. Uh, clear that screen, make sure you have, if you haven't done this already, select hide non-video participants. So your screen looks like this. And then there aren't any of those uh, random blocks of someone's name and no screen on. Just clean it up because there's always a bunch of people popping in and out. Uh, makes it easier to see for everybody. All right, we are now streaming on Facebook. Uh, once I'm done with this part, I'll be sharing the Facebook stream to all of our different Facebook groups that we promote. Um, but yeah, please let's share, the, uh, share the video around. This is a fair warning also for those who don't want to be streamed um, that too exempt from the jam. But we do want to show that that improv is still a thing on the internet as well as we want to give airtime for our lovely um, headliners later. So this is the warning for now, but also share the stream, like help us out. Sensitive topics. Uh, for those who are going to be playing this evening, uh, these aren't banned topics. Like you can technically do some of these, but just keep in mind, some people might be still sensitive anyway. So just take these with a grain of salt. Um, please uh, be cognizant if you're going to go towards these topics. For example, political, COVID-19 related, uh, especially with the COVID-19, we've heard it so many times already. I think we can pass on it, but if you have to make a joke about it, just you've been warned. Uh, religion, spirituality, uh, blue humor, stalking, socioeconomic disadvantage, cursing. These are examples, not an, an exhaustive list. So you technically could um, bring these up in improv. Just again, just be smart about it um, or just not do it. That's really fine. Up to you. These are for sure. You cannot do these. These are banned topics. For example, physically flashing each other. Take off your improv clothes, not your actual clothes. I'm not telling you to do it now, but just if you're going to take off your clothes, just do it metaphorically, all right? Um, there's flashing, um, bringing up sensitive topics like rape, kidnapping, miscarriage, suicide, something that's traumatic that might be for someone else in the audience or someone who's watching on Facebook. Things like racism, sexism, other isms, mental illness, anything that makes a person's identity the butt of the joke. Um, we will um, consider these banned topics. These are examples, uh, but this is also not an exhaustive list. So if we find anything that's like really jarring or um, the way I see it is if it's a, a, top, a, sub, a topic that does not allow somebody to watch or participate safely in our jam, then we're gonna call it out. Speaking of which, we call, uh, the calling out process is called timeout. Anyone can call a timeout during any scene or set if they see someone violating our guidelines and banned topics. Um, if you see something or if you're in the middle of the scene or one of our volunteers will do this for you if you mess with somebody, um, but uh, that person will turn on the camera, call timeout, um, this violates our jam guidelines, but let's move on to the next scene or I'm uncomfortable, can we please move? And then we'll just edit and go to the next scene. Uh, and then we'll address the issue after. We wanna focus more about the play that's happening during a jam, not so much like let's um, like sort it out in the middle of it. You know, uh, just because we wanna focus on the positives and then we can help enlighten people afterwards as opposed to just focusing on the negatives all the time, right? Um, if you're uncomfortable doing a timeout, please let us, one of us know. But really, anybody here, uh, we give them permission. If you see something uncomfortable, please let us know or call it yourself so then we can address it and then we can kind of work this out through together. Help us create a fun and safe space. Tips for improv on Zoom, I'm skipping this. I think most of us here have been doing Zoom for so long. If you have any questions, please message myself or another volunteer. But honestly, um, the biggest thing is that we can't physically touch each other or like be in the physical space, but because we're on cameras with boxes, we can always figure out things uh, to find the joy. That's my biggest thing. Find joy however you can, and everything is a gift and just embrace it. Like for example, I'm in my office. I can use Coke now as part of my uh, stuff. I will say this though, if you're doing musical improv for the first time, again, Adrian from New York is gonna be taking care of you. He's one of the best uh, musical improv directors in the country and he'll take care of you. Just sing your little hearts out and you'll be fine. Please stick around to the end. We have a group game, like a line game. Like we make it up because uh, we don't wanna repeat because we're super cool, we can figure it out. Yeah, so join us at the end for a group game. Uh, feature troop for next week, which I'm very excited for our, our three, Peter. Uh, a little bit of feedbacking, networking, slight mingling. We'll do like some hangout things. 
uh, we do off camera. And then again, please spread the word. There's Facebook Live. We're not on Twitch. I should probably get rid of that. Word of mouth, um, inner city grew because we're part of a community and we wanna include people as much as possible and also just offer to people um, whatever we can, just supporting through improv online. So just, yeah, spread the word that we're still around and we'll do it the best possible. All right. Speaking of which, drum roll, please. This is the headline of this evening. Super drum, excited. Drum, drum. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Little, little drummer boy in the, in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, it is Ricochet Illustrated Improv from both United Kingdom and the United States. Woo! Oh, yeah. I've been awesome. super excited be um, because um, some of our house teams have been playing with um, High Wire Improv. And this team uh, will sometimes share the same time slot as us. Um, so this is the first time that we're actually hosting them through our jam. And if you see on the screen right now, uh, it is illustrated. Ooh, super excited. What does that mean? You're going to have to find out. But I'm very excited. I'm gracious that um, we're hosting them this evening. So speaking of hosting this evening, I don't remember um, who is... Uh, hey, musical first? Musical team first? We are going to go musical first. And I'm the host. Hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> When I could, my first musical team, when I call out your name, turn on your camera, and there's a timer out there. I guess I'm timing as well. I will come up with two minutes. I think we're doing 25 minutes, right? 25 minutes, sir. Yeah. Yay. 25 minutes. All right, turn on your cameras. Brian Sebi from Wheaton. Angel from Sevilla. Jennifer from Norwalk, Connecticut. Alfred from California. Faustino. Hey, we just saw him from Las Vegas. And Joshua Brevin from Los Angeles. And I will be your timer. So turn off those cameras. And I should, or I'll turn off my camera. <laughs> wait a second. I'm going to um, wait. We got six people up on the screen. Um, uh, Brian, you're, you're kind of look like a six year old. Oh, no. Oh, where'd he go? <laughs> I'm oh. Play and get a suggestion. Oh, we uh, need, yeah. Go ahead, Angel. Yeah, we need a suggestion. Please tell us something that uh, um, gives you energy. Carrots. 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 Thank you. Carrots. Carrots. You're gonna love it. It's called Carrots. It's it's my first novel. Oh. I brought it to you first because you have been the best agent. I mean, you've been amazing. You know, I'm reading through this, and it seems mm -hmm. like um, there's this character in here of of an agent who's always eating carrots who gets murdered in the first page yeah yeah and I, by the way i'm sorry for using your name it was a placeholder yeah and then I, I, do we is there something that you want to talk to me about i feel like maybe we haven't communicated recently enough well as a matter of fact there is something i want to talk about with you my first novel I made fun of it. I vowed I would spend the rest of my life getting the rest one public. Of your life. The rest of my life. And you here just I am. have stabbed me to death on page one. Page one. And then on page three, you've had my car fall off a cliff. With my sad body in it, and moving <laughs> ahead to page five, an asteroid hit the car. I think you've proven your point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. I accept your thought. But I'm gonna write a sequel and gonna be bloody. I'm not quite sure how you can do that more after page 325. 
My God, you don't leave my family alive. I'm sorry. Never make fun of your books again. That's great. Thanks. All right, well, <laughs> it's probably going to be bestseller, so at least I get my 10%. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And I'm just glad we were able to clear the air. Um, I'll, I'll be having you contact mo my, through my assistant next time, though. Um, oh. But you know what? Um, I'm going to sweep out of here. <laughs> okay. I have something to show you. <laughs> what is it, Becky? Whoa! Three oranges. Three elongated oranges is what yeah. I've heard about God. <laughs> so cool. There was no one seen oranges like this because, like, I see them differently. I see them sort of pushing themselves out into the world and, you know. But, yeah. I don't have a title for it yet, except three elongated oranges. Maybe that's the title. How about not carrots? No, no, no one's gonna think that's carrot. Roger, come on. How about fangy long hair? It's like a guy with crazy hair and three big fangs and he's gonna get you if you don't watch out but he's nice so don't freak out fangy long hair he's kind of scary looking but he's nice talking about fangy long hair i think they're there but don't freak out I don't have to see it twice. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah. Fangy. Be kind. Famous artist. And I drop it. Probably a new power, but it is huge. No one understands fangy long hair. The people think that they're an orange. I've just created the possible situation because nothing rhymes with orange. Except fangy long hair stole. It's awesome. Thanks for believing me, Roger. I know I'm going to go all the way to the National Gallery with the Becky, I can't wait to see your work at the Louvre. The Louvre! The Louvre! Ra! Welcome here to the Louvre. <laughs> That's the most amazing museum of the world. Yes, I have seen many museums, but the Louvre is by far the most. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. You are in the right place. And now we have some new art pieces here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so it's not, oh, we have Mona Lisa and that's, whoa, that has been our best star for all these years, but now these new artists are coming. It will take much have... to, to replace Van Gogh or oh, Monet yeah. or any of the other greats, but who is this artist? Yes, yes, because you, you own this possibility to see G. Oh, 
Orange. L'orange. L'orange. I have seen my art in display worldwide, but nothing prepared me for what I would feel inside. This it's, art. It's art. It's art. It's right to our heart. Here on the museum, we had Mona Lisa, we had Botticelli and Da Vinci. But now, we have the orange. The orange. The orange. The greatest in the world. Greatest in the, the world. Orange. The orange, orange. is art. Let the banners be unfurled. It's art. Right yes. to the heart. Here in my heart. It's art in mine and yours and all the world's heart. My heart was on the door hinge until I saw that orange. That orange became our. Everything our heart our heart has art now. <laughs> the museum has been closed for 15 minutes. Oh, you two must have lost track of the time because you are in love. Yes, yeah, sorry. We 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 will go now. Thank you. No, yeah. we do not want to go. We want to stay and look at this art. <sighs> oh, well uh, we say. Uh, it's no, it's, it's uh, les Américains, hein? So what? I still like the art. It's art, it's real. Look. The orange. C'est un orange. An orange. Well, are, 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 are we saying then? I'm sorry, I, I was on the way to the door. Don't leave. I was going oh. to sweep, I was going to sweep the, uh, oh. the hallway. <laughs> Oh, okay. I, uh, yeah, I'm sweeping. Okay, just enjoy the art. It's for you. Okay. I am Ooh. here, all alone, finally in the Louvre. You are never alone when there is the orange around. Orange. Orange. Amour. Ah. Hey everyone, it looks like all the patrons have left. We're alone. Finally. Yeah. And. and the, like sort of enigmatic. Oh. Or, or, it, it, it works. It works. It's the power of the orange. The orange has magnificent powers. The powers of love. Yeah. Now I feel there is like a, a big carrot unifying our existence. You're just taking up half the South Pole. This I huge carrot. Nothing like the artist could to me. Yeah. Because this is the Louvre. There are no doors, no walls anymore. The Louvre, where the art is coming to ask us to invite our existence to change our hair, our mind, our skin. It's the Louvre. This is the Louvre. The Louvre. I don't believe that you know what I'm talking about. 
Congratulations on your fourth book. I mean, I must say, you have found in increasingly interesting ways to murder me in prose. I well, if it wasn't so good, I'd be insulted. But it's I can't help it. It's excellent. I mean, it's so creative. When I. I thought that writing one word over and over again for so many pages, I thought you might not take it well, but you, and kill, 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 kill. It's, it's like, art. Is, is it really good? It's really good. You're not just saying that. No, I, well, I mean, it's number one, the New York times bestseller list. So it's, you know, not just me. I mean, and again, I'm, I'm flattered that you still remain with me as your agent, just despite, you know, apparently hating me, but I, I'm loving the, the residuals that I'm getting. I mean, I, I will never go to a car wash again after that last scene, but oh my God. <laughs> fair enough. That's a fair point. Look, yeah. all the great artists were crazy, mad. Van Gogh cut off his foot or ear. So maybe we need to get a little crazy. No, that song has already been written. Tell me how you feel. Shocked. Tell me, or I'll never know. There. You just are on a one word binge. I don't know how I feel about that. True. I think your increasingly creative ways of murdering me in your words. And then just 17 chapters of the word Kill. It's art. It's art of the word. Art. Art. It's art. And art was the name of my childhood friend. <laughs> art is short. Arthur. I feel like there's a breakthrough coming. <laughs> because art rhymes with art. Sweet. That's your next book. My friend wrote a book, but I can't find any bookstores anymore. You got one? I got a copy on the dark web. Oh. This is this is groundbreaking. So, okay. Uh, chapter six literally has one word. Whoa. Kill. Kill, 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 kill. And as I read it, it starts to take on different permutations and meanings and what is he trying to kill here? His soul? Like, is he trying to kill his, 
like bad vibes? Is he trying to kill bad odors? I don't know. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten, I don't know. This thing was, it's hot. Just chill. Just, it's simple. It's like, it's like a blank canvas. That's it. You want to borrow it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Kill, 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 kill. You kill, kill, kill. I read a book in five minutes. Cause it just keeps saying kill. Kill, kill, kill. I'll give you some poison that'll make you ill. You fall down and then you'll spill. Kill. Say what? Got a copy of the book in a thought. Take a chill pill. You don't want to lose your skill. I read a book called Kill. Call Kill. Kill. Everybody's got it. No, we have one. What the heck? Whoa. The writer had a lot of skill. The name of the book escapes me now. What was it called? The book got killed. Kill, kill. Kill, kill. This book is really about murder. I think it's that's more noble. Like killing the thickness of your existence and growing into something better. It's a positive effect. I'm gonna write up a review. Wow. What a spin. I love it. So, you already know that here, it's a special school. Books are forbidden. You were aware of this, weren't you, little Charlie, when you arrived? Yes. Ah. The bright light, it's so scary. Don't worry, you'll get used. Charlie, this is a very modern school. Here, we must develop everything inside our brains. We don't need to write or to read anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, Charlie, it's called spontaneity. Okay? And you will be great at it. Okay. Well, thanks. And are you going to put me on? Will I be in the cover of your your alternative rock album that you've been talking about? Album, album. So you you are you are talking about something related with books. Oh. You Sorry. know. You know. So you here. When you have an idea, you express it with words, spoken words, not written words. Spoken words. Yeah. Spoken. Not written. Not written, it's inside you. And outside. Inside me right here. Yeah. Or is it here? Or here? Could or be here. here? Or there? Yes. Everywhere. Spoken. No. No written, just spoken. We go. Many years oh. ago, people created books. 
Because they were too shy to talk, to speak People created books They were afraid to forget And now they are hidden in their bedrooms And they don't want to mate People created books And forget how to speak You must learn it Everything you say in books on tape, that doesn't count. We want to speak. Very Tell well. The truth. Come on, Charlie, you can do it. I'm. 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 a mouse. Yeah! You can do it! You can do it! Rich. Mouse! I've been dressed up as a person all these years. I don't want to lie anymore. I just want cheese. Come the on, mouse Charlie! The mouse with cheese. Ooh. You're the, the mouse carrots. that roared. I think that's a book. Maybe read a book called Kill. Kill, book kill, called kill, 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 kill. It was a dangerous book. Very it was a book called Kill. A mouse didn't die. And oranges <sighs> go together. Everything is art. Everything's inside. Just speak. Put me words. Sweet. We are the book. We are the book. I fizz the book. Books I on tape are totally real. We are the Squeak. book. We are the book. We are the children. That might be a different song. I believe we are the book. We are the book. We are the book. The book, the book, the book. The book. We are, we are the book. The book. We are the book. We are and the book. The children of the book. We are the book. Yeah! Give it up for Team One of the Inner City Long Farm Improv Jam. So give it up for Adrian Garment on the keys. Woo! Yeah! Crazy! Ah, uh, I thought I was gonna continue in the, the, the peanut stands. All right. Um we'll get we'll get to bringing up a, uh, Adrian back up in a second, but um this is our transition time uh between our non-musical, our musical and non-musical sets. Yeah, give it up. Um, yeah, in the chat, go ahead and Give all the lovely praises to Adrian for her plan. I do have to rob the uh, the um, the screen share just so we can get into our um, our in transitional poses. Um, oh no, is that a picture of Adrian? We'll get to it. Why is that up there? Um, just to give you a heads up on what's on the menu or basically what's going on with Inner City Improv, uh, just to give you an idea for those who are watching at home or those who are in the meeting this evening. Starting off with this, um, every do we skip something? Huh. We have a merch shop, https uh, etsy.com slash shop slash inner city improv. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, what does it mean? Oh, look, we got people with mugs and t-shirts and a thumb. Oh, and object work. Object works is always free, though. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we have merch uh, that's available in Etsy it's shop. Object work. What are you talking about? It's not space work. <laughs> space rock. Look, whatever debate you want from other improv schools, whatever. Uh, we do basically have mugs and t-shirts and hoodies and that type of stuff. Um, thank you for those who have purchased those in the past. Past the uh, the intention for those isn't really to sell stuff, more so that because Inner City was a part of the global improv community that helped um, keep people together through online improv, 
um, that we thought would be nice that people could keep a thing. And uh, actually the bit is that I think every time someone buys something, um, I lose money like two cents or so. I haven't really done the math. Uh, the IRS hasn't really come after me. So I don't think I've made enough for them to be like, hey, we need to tax you on this. Um, it's just, we do it through, it's a little bit expensive. We do it through Etsy because I don't have to keep a work uh, warehouse of stuff. So if you have, uh, if there's anything that's out of your price range, like a mug or t-shirt, for me, it's more important that uh, you get a thing. Again, we're part of the global craft community. Uh, take an interstate thing to help promote, but also just keep a memento for all the fun we've had online. And if you have any issues, please message me. We'll find a way to get to you. Uh, Nelson, if you're listening to this, uh, I did not forget. Just keep harassing me so I um, remember to do it. Um, there's that part of it. So um, please visit our Etsy shop. I'm uh, hoping someone from the from the volunteers will post the link in the chat for those on Zoom and maybe on Facebook. But yeah, uh, support the Etsy shop. Um, so far, um, we're really just focusing on our inner city jam. There are so many things going on in the world that places are reopening and closing up again um, that we wanted to keep this our constant, the thing that we're focusing on. So every Sunday at 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, we'll have a jam, unless it's announced that we're gonna not have one in advance, just always, unless we posted it somewhere, um, assume that we're always here 6 p.m. Pacific and we're here to jam, musical and non-musical, and then always having some kind of headliner. Speaking of the headliners, um, I didn't, I forgot, I think I took away the slide for this one. Um, but anyways, for next week, we have Hemlock returning to uh, the jam from New York, New York. This is an all women troop. They're wonderful, all wonderful people. Uh, so please support them next week, 12, 12, which is also my mother's birthday. So uh, you should come and, and you'll see my mom, maybe or maybe not. Um, show up for Hemlock, stay for my mom. That's weird. I uh, didn't put this uh, put the uh, slide up, but I will announce this also. Uh, give it up once again for Ricochet for being our headliner this evening. Ricochet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you'll see them in a little bit. Uh, some people are actually trickling in. Um, after that, oh my goodness, very excited. We're going to have uh, one of my teams I work with, Music Horn Sparkles from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, Brandy Little, Tanya McIntosh are a musical duo, a little subset of, off of uh, One Take Musical Improv. Uh, we will be doing this live in Las Vegas, um, and I'm playing on the piano. So we're excited to show it to you. And that'll be kind of our last jam before um, the uh, the U.S. holidays. Speaking of which, oh, let me skip through this one first. Uh, we will not have a jam on the following dates. Uh, this is basically the Sunday after Christmas, and then the Sunday uh, the Sunday the the Sunday after New Year's Eve. Two major holidays here in North America. So I figured let's just take time off to be with family or someone will just figure out how to open up the Zoom link and then you can hang out without me figuring it out, whatever. But just give me a heads up. Um, we will not have a jam those dates. Um, but we do have those. Everyone wants to get, get up for Adrian from New York being our Woo! musical director for the evening. Hooray! Yeah. Um, I made the mistake of posting everyone's personal information on a slide deck. So I put this message, payment info will be posted in the Zoom chat of this meeting, or if, you, if you're if you watching on Facebook and you wanna um, send a tip, uh, basically financially help out Adrian for helping them out, technically he's, um, he's volunteering. Um, please, um, if you want the Zoom uh, information he's offering, uh, it's uh, Venmo and PayPal. Um, message Inner City, at Inner City Improv on Facebook or Instagram for the info and we'll send it to you. Um, or look through the chat, I've already posted in there. Uh, agents, one of the greatest MDs I've known. So just support, um, again, MDs are amazing. I'm an MD. So I, I say so. Uh, what else is next? Ah, yes. Um, as of now, we have pretty much booked through uh, the end of December, but we are looking for teams um, in January, February, and March as we're approaching week 100. Oh, snap. What's the special thing? Uh, our page has already hit 1,000 likes, so I have to come up with something to celebrate that. Haven't done it with yet. If you are an improv team that's watching this, if you've played Inner City Improv before, or you haven't been online and want to try something out, this is the place to be. If you have any video sketches, we will still show those. If you're a musical director, please share your talents and expose yourself to the rest of the world because you're amazing. If you know people that want to jam or want to try out online improv in a safe environment, that this is the place to be. Um, if you're interested, please reach us out to us at innercityimprov at gmail.com or um, I think my personal info is like floating around the internet somewhere. Uh, message us on our Facebook or Instagram page or email us at, at gmail.com. Uh, for more information, we'd love to support you as much as we can on our end. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you have a Facebook event 
or website you want to promote. Um, this is true for both online and in-person things, as long as it's affiliated with some kind of improv theater. Um, you can post all your links in our page. Um, I think it's uh, group, group slash inner city improv hub. You can search this. It's also attached to our Facebook page. Um, please post stuff there. Again, it has to be affiliated with an improv group uh, or improv group, improv theater for it to be posted. Um, we just want to make, we're not really looking through it so much, but again, just another way to be visible, be part of the community, please let us know uh, so people in our community can support the things that you're also doing in your neck of the woods, virtually or in person. And bon appetit. That is, thanks uh, for being a part of our inner city improv community and excellent. Um, I shall go. Actually, I can't leave because I'm in this next set. Um, we now go on to the um, non-musical improv set and somebody else is hosting and timing. Uh, Angel from Sevilla Hello. Spain, everybody. Hello, uh, thank you, Faustino. Hello, everybody. So now it's time to know our second team of the evening, a uh, non-musical um, team. And so your timekeeper will be Brian. Brian will inform you when you'll have only two minutes left. Yes, and he's ready. And now in the team, uh, we will have Mindy Ballantyne from Mindy Chino. Yay! Welcome, Mindy. We will have also David Shapiro from Chicago. Woo! Yeah, David. We will have also Rocky. Welcome, Rocky. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have Greg Little, the whale from Berkeley. Woo! Greg, we will have also the great Faustino from Las Vegas. Faustino. Woohoo! We will have also Kevin Wilcox from New York, New York. Welcome, Kevin. And also, now the great Janelle Meager. Yeah, welcome, Danielle. So we'll have 25 minutes uh, to impress us. Good luck, Tim, too. Wait, we're impressing somebody now? Uh, <laughs> All right. We're, 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 we got 25 minutes. That's two dozen plus one. What else comes in 25? Groups of exactly 25. Dollars. American quarters. American quarters. American quarters. American quarters. American quarters. Yeah. And probably other quarters too, but you know. Make a bit of <laughs> American quarters. Thank you. Arr, be swabbing the ducks now. Oh, smells like anchor poop. Don't, don't be doing that for just quarters. You need 50 cent pieces at least. I've been telling you for years, don't sell yourself short. I, I don't think I'm worth more than just a single you are. I I've feel like you. you scrub with the best of them. I haven't seen a better scrubber than you. Wait, so that means that I am worth what I think I'm worth. I'm not worth anymore because you've seen someone that's better than me. I ha I haven't. I haven't seen anyone better than oh. the best. What are you talking about? You said I was a good scrubber the other day. Oh, what I the heck? I didn't realize oh. you were here, uh, Octopus. Um, you're the uh, octopi, you're the best scrubber is what I meant. I didn't mean to compare. I don't even know which of you is better. I wasn't specifying. Look, you're look, scrub, the best, Scrubby right? the octopus. You can't really compare human scrubbers and octopus scrubbers. It's not really fair because our biologies are different. Are so, I, I the captain, be coming down? No, the captain. I have some there. good news and I have some bad news for the crew. <laughs> Tell the bad news is, much. well, the bad news is we can only afford to keep one scrubber. We <laughs> can keep a human or we can keep the octopus. Otherwise, the other one, we will have to either throw overboard or eat. Um, also, that. bad news, we are kind of low on food. There's oh. two bad news. Is... The good news Oh, yes. No, go. Oh, we want to hear the good news first. The good news is I figured out a way to decide which one of you we keep. We're going to have a contest. Did you say In contest or corn test? Because corn test. Corn test. Co a competition. Com, com test. <laughs> uh, three places around the ship I have hidden 
quarters. The one of you who finds the most, that's at least two of the three, will be kept on as our scrubber and we'll get to keep one of the quarters. Sweet, sweet. Bring in, bring in somebody else. This is a game that my ancestors used to play. It's called the, the corn fest. And so we, we throw the corn. This was my, you know, my ancestors, I have a long history here on the coast. Mm -hmm. They used to be pirates and the corn fest was throwing corn to see who could throw the corn the farthest. Oh, okay. And whoever does wins a shiny new quarter. Mabel, I remember back in the day, that's how I met your grandpappy in the corn fest. It was so darn romantic. I loved the corn fest. Oh, Grammy, I know, I know. That's really special to you. That's, that's such a wonderful story, Grammy. Cut to the day that she meets her grandma. Oh, I didn't know you were here in the corn. Now, here we go, the corn fest. We have Michael and Sophie. Let's see how far you can throw your corn. All right. I... <sighs> I say, what a great shot that was. Tra-la, 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 tra-la. He's so manly. I love the way he throws his corn. Oh my gosh, he's really amazing. You should probably go talk to him. That was a really good oh, corn. Another throw! We want another throw! Another throw, another throw, please give us another throw. Watch this. Oh. oh, oh, even, even more than the worst. Oh, look at that. What'd you say? Oh, splendid, splendid. Tra-la, tra-la. Oh, tra-la, tra-la. Can I? Can tra I invite you home for a bit of corn fest chowder? <laughs> oh, I dare. Um, I daren't. You dare? I daren't. Dare. Me so forward as to Rocky. such an offer. Tag out Rocky. Actually, tag back in Rocky. <laughs> tag out Greg. <laughs> well, Rocky, I'm back. Rocky, if you want to be a good corn thrower, you got to give up the band. <laughs> be your coach. Come on, Rocky. G give it up? You got to give him up. You can't, you can't be loving on a man and win in the corn fest games. You gotta be mean. Listen to me, I gave up man years ago, and I'm the best corn thrower on the West Coast. Oh no, I'll never give up the man. Oh. He's hairy, and I like that. Cut yeah. out David and Mindy. <laughs> okay, dear, now you do know that I do not accept quarters anymore. My fee has gone up to paper currency. And if you want to be successful in love, I suggest you pay before the prediction. Cur paper currency? I didn't come with paper currency. I, I, I have a chicken. I'll take the chicken. Okay. Now, dear, I understand. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for pre-frying it. I do love the greasiness. <laughs> you say cholesterol is not good for us, but frankly, I think it's quite lubricating. And I remember the day... Tag out both. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here to remember Madame Zelda. She died when her heart burst through her chest, but I do have to say that she slid into her coffin very well. She was very well lubricated at the end. <laughs> now, her, her brother, Chesterford, yes, uh, wants to say a few words 
about uh, Madame Zelda? Just for, of course, everybody knows me, of course, as Zoltar from the Zoltar Machines. I, of course, am the original. So I am putting a quarter in myself and giving, reading her very last wishes. Okay, tag out David and <laughs> then bring him back as a corpse. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember <laughs> Chesterford, a.k.a. Zoltar, who at yesterday's funeral choked to death on a quarter. <laughs> Sadly, he was the only one here to speak for his sister, and now nobody is here to speak for him. So we're just going to push it in the ground and sweep some dirt over it. Sweep, sweep the dirt over it. <laughs> oh, I, sorry, I oh shit! Don't worry about it. it. Happens all the time. We live on Main Street. Oh. So, the working conditions, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like they just have us mop this place because they don't know what else, what else to do do with us. I I think they might be thinking about getting rid of us. That's a, a theory a theory that I've been having as well. I've been mopping here. Well, I think you're right because they gave me two mops today. What they gave you two? I only got one. And I think somebody. Well, I thought somebody maybe was sick over the last couple of days, but a lot of people have been sick, yeah. and they gave me two mops. And two buckets, and I'm expected to do twice as much. Yeah, yeah, you're expected to do twice as much, that's for sure. We're going to have to replace you with a Rumba LR3 double L. Robots? Robots? Are, are, we're, we're being. We, no, wait we cannot be replaced so easily. Um, I am the Roomba. I am here to say that we demand a raise. A raise? You can't even you can't even speak with this robot. Why don't you? That, I mean, not you a good idea. What happened the last time we tried to collectively bargain? I mean, they broke all of our fingers. I mean, uh, huh? you're not going to get a collective bargaining agreement with these guys, pal. Roomba has no fingers. Roomba, Roomba can do court. the work go of back. seven men. Go back to home port, Roomba. Look, we got to figure out how to unplug this thing. That's all we got to do is just unplug it. Like here we, you know, like, you know, they're taking over the world. How about we just put it where there are stairs? Oh, tag out everyone and then bring in a crowd. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here uh, with an address on behalf of uh, World Dictator for Life, Roomba. Um, he has come to announce uh, that from now on, humans will be expected to clean their own floors. He is busy running the world. Also, um, he will be... Um, oh, yes, this wasn't a question and answer, but yes. So that was the one thing on his platform that he was going to clean up everything, and now he's he's giving up on the one thing. Well, I, I was going to say that any human who is unable to maintain their own floors uh, will be sent to an island in the ocean, and I mean the island is only seventeen feet by seventeen feet, so everybody will have to squeeze in very tight or learn to swim. Yes. Um. I paid $15.99 for the five-year warranty on my Roomba. And so the, I was I was supposed to expect that my Roomba was going to work for me for at least five years. Well, it is working for you as dictator of the world. It says it will work, not specifically says it will clean floors. Yes. Ah, ah. Am I am I late to the meeting? No, you're you're on time. Well, I mean, you know, this is going out to all of humanity. So technically being on Earth makes you on time. 
wait it's like i have i have a family with a child there's only three of us but like i i, I can't be late again i i don't want i can't deal with consequences well um if you didn't hear the earlier part you will be expected to maintain your own floors or you will be shipped to an island in the middle of the pacific i am Wait. totally fine with that i am technically a pacific islander or asian and you're saying that if we go there that we presumably don't have to maintain the floor i mean that would that's the whole reason that we're going there i assume that that at least is not an expectation on the island sir honestly i'm just passing along what was told to me um yes you who look like you have to go to the bathroom well, i'm not red i don't have to go to the bathroom i've just been waiting for a very long time to ask my question and i i think it was rude that i had to wait i'm trying to follow the rules i'm trying to raise my hand well um can i, I ask my uh, question now um i'm surprised you haven't already Ma'am, ma how do you how do you just have the confidence just wiggle your hand at somebody and just want to answer a question? Do you deal with consequences well? No, I I wrote a book on how to have confidence no matter what you do. I very much would like to hear what your question is. So please. Thank you. Thank you. Someone is connecting with me and has an interest in my question. I appreciate that, sir. And maybe you and I could kind of go out for a little bit because I need someone that will listen to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I've just been told that is the end of time for questions. <laughs> um, so okay, uh, anyway, everyone, um, but Danielle. Check out everyone but Danielle. Hey, I really like your moxie during that, that group meeting. Oh, yeah? And I read your book, the Kill, Kill, Kill book. Yeah. Yeah, it was just like every page was kill. It is, but you got to stop for coffee. Don't forget, you need some coffee. You don't just kill, kill, kill. You got to pause a bit. Take a, like a speed bump in your life and reflect on the joy, the joy. Killing the joy. I'm killing the joy. You're killing it, girl. I'm killing it. Yeah. Psst. You too. Yeah. I hear you. you guys want to get rid of the Roomba. I like the way you whisper about. Listen, don't tell anybody. Listen. Listen. I, I keep this hidden now with Roomba in charge. I was a custodian. You weren't a custodian, were you? <gasps> you was a custodian. A place with other custodians? With other custodians? Oh my god! <clears throat> custodians, maids, um, general handymen, uh, everything, everything that, that Roomba has taken over. <sighs> Come with me. Come with me. Come with you. Let's go with the Roomba. With this is amazing. I'm to write another tattoo David's like lair, underground lair. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have screwdrivers. You have you have nails and 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 and, and bits. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. Like yeah. you can build your own things. Yeah, and I could stay and I could have people over whenever I want. My mom doesn't mind. Yes, you brought these to um, um, your secret place without yeah. telling me. Oh, mom. Come on, mom. I thought we agreed that the basement was going to be mine. I pay my rent every month on time. Come on, I mom. Don't like surprises. I know. Don't speak to your mother like that, Toby. Oh, That's right. Uh, this is my mom, and I call him dad. He's my he's been my dad ever since I was I was five, so I call him dad. Sometimes I call him I. I am but a lowly sock elf that the squid tells me to do things. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought there'd be more custodians here, but uh, I guess they're gonna come later. You uh want to hang out? I'm making my mom making some pizza rolls. Is um, this the resistance against the Roomba headquarters? Yeah. yeah. Someone say resistance. Yeah. Hello. I am a human 
janitor and am absolutely absolute absolutely not a Roomba in a human suit. Okay, just come on down these stairs and meet with us down here. All right. I don't trust him. Look closer. He's a little drunk. He's sort of falling down the stairs as well. Are you okay, dude? It's a circle. I made Damn it down the stairs in the normal human fashion. Dude, hey, buddy, I'm so sorry about my parents, about the way they acted. I'm sorry. David, David, David. Parents. Take my, hey. my spyglass. Take it. Okay. Wait, Take wait. it and look, look at him through it. I, I just see him really close. I just see him really close up. Pixels. Do you see, do you the pixels? see, do you see that squid lord? Your son is exploring his sexuality with a partner. Oh, this is not the resistance. This is a date. Hey, you, you know. Oh, sorry. All right, I will leave. No, you know. Mr. What was your name again? Um, uh, Ro, Ro, Ro Wimba, Ro Imba, good, Mr. Imba. I'm trying to sort of get something going with this girl. My parents are upstairs. You mind uh, scandaling for a little bit? You know. All right. Shut oh. God damn. Now I have to go up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> He's not doing. Yeah, that's not how. That's not how you walk upstairs, sir. <laughs> you cannot keep you know smacking you know what, David, I'm... with your body to elevate. David, what's up, David? I'm, I'm sorry. I feel like I really need to help your this friend here. Oh. Um, you know, me, me and him are going to tap out. I'm going to help him walk up the stairs. Okay. Bye. I... Have a good night. Oh no, Squid Lord is. I am now up attention. three stairs. Oh. Victor. Oh, there no. are more. Weep. Come on, I'm trying. All right, what's your wish? I've been thinking about this for a long time. Hurry up. Um, it's just, it's hard to. I have another appointment. How, um, I mean, okay. I... <clears throat> Don't do that rubbing three times thing. I'm already here, and just so you know, you can't wish for three more wishes, okay? Okay, that's not what I want. It's not what I want. There's this, there's this level in this, in this video game, and I, could you <clears throat> pass it? Just like give me a hint or something. <laughs> you want a hint for a video game? Yeah, there's an object I need—a whistle. That's where it is. Oh, these humans. You don't want to wish for world peace. There are other things besides humans? Like, this is eye-opening to me. Is this information that you leaked and didn't mean to? Excuse me, come again, sir. You said humans as if there were other things than humans. As Could you elaborate on that? Oh, well, I... Uh, yeah. I grant yeah. wishes to all species, and the humans mostly ask for really stupid things, you know? And the stupidest one is the things? three more wishes, and I just, you know, like, kibosh that. Tug out, tug out Greg, uh, temporarily. Um, yes, I would like to take this squash and turn it into a spaghetti squash. <laughs> I can do that, yeah. Tug out, Faustino. I would like to take this uh, Play-Doh that I turned into spaghetti through the spaghetti maker and turn that into regular spaghetti, please. I can do that. Tag out David. <laughs> I would like to be able to go up and downstairs so I can better <laughs> mimic a human being. Ah. Hey, can I turn this Roomba into a bowl of spaghetti, please? <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. having problems with your Roomba. I'm not sure. Maybe just wish them all away or something. <laughs> Tell you about Mustino and Kevin, which they just did. You know what? I really would like a bed, but I want it to feel like I'm sleeping on water. Like, can I have maybe like a water bed? Oh, that's a new one. Yeah. It's usually, I'm usually used to this, uh, you know, the princess and the pea thing where they want to put something under the bed, but 
Yeah, I can do a waterbed. You know, I heard, my... I heard you want a waterbed, but you know what? That's old, and I think you should consider the male bed. Male? You know, like the... boys? Like a boy bed? Oh, no, no, not mayonnaise. Oh. You need it for like potato salad, right? And it's slippery, and it's like... No, it's... you're talking about the Mayo Clinic where they take care of cancer patients, because that's a real thing. <laughs> And things are meaningful. They need those beds. You only had a thing for mayonnaise, thinking it's not it's, a real thing. That's the real McCoy. I'm telling you, you can't look, live without mayonnaise. Hey, look, I'm here to have my thing. Look, excuse me, fairy princess. I'm here with Quentin Tarantino. Can we turn this Western into a spaghetti Western? <laughs> no problem. That's my sister. She always gets in on my jam. Hey, I got everybody but Danelle. Well, now uh, we uh, have some uh, bad news about your uh, mayo bed and some good news. Well, uh, bad news is no, wait a mayonnaise minute. goes bad if you <laughs> you leave it at room temperature for a while. So uh, your bed is now the the most toxic thing around here and. You know, there there's an actual nuclear waste dump three miles down the road. Your bed is more toxic than that. What? The good news is it's also the most comfortable thing around for like three oh, miles. You bad boy. You bad boy now. You like it rough and toxic, don't you? Well, uh, um tag out Danelle. Oh. Dad no, tag out Danelle, keep Kevin. Dad, I really wanted to write a song because I really think I can turn into a pop star. And you were kept talking about toxic. And me with my flowing blonde hair, I think I found the inspiration for my next big pop single. Well, Brittany, I think <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to sweep this scene right now because there's nowhere this is gonna go. <laughs> oh my god. Quickly, all the humans get in here. We got 30 seconds before we get swept out of the scene. That's a lot of demands. As a human, I'm not sure I can cope. Look, we only have fragments of time left, so I think if we all became one a part of the appendages, we could be one human on the screen. Right. We're Vol Voltroning it? Yeah, Voltroning it. Okay, okay. Foot. Other foot. I feel like maybe I misunderstood. Touch. Here. I am robot. I am best robot for cleaning up hair on floor. Or Roomba. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. I got every that's, no. that's a um, okay. <laughs> Give it up for team two of the inner city long form improv jam. Hooray. Mwah. Super fun. Crazy. Crazy. Funny. To you and again and again. Um, funny story about out of uh britney spears uh so britney um all the stuff with the that's been going on with britney she used to have a residency here in las vegas and I actually got to meet her by accident one time i was at a bar uh hanging out with my friends and at one point she uh uh i didn't know it was her at the time literally like i saw her and i was like this looks familiar whatever she stands up she like puts a drink in my front of my face like hey you want this and i'm like sure so I'm drinking of it. Oh, it's like a pineapple thing. And then someone smacks me back of the head. It's like, dude, do you know who that was? And I was like, I just, someone who appreciates pineapple juice. No, that was Brittany. And the word I can't say because, you know, what the meme is. But I, I got Brittany Spears' drink one time. And there's no way to fact check that. That's it. Um, so Brittany Spears is great. Um, so we're coming close. Uh, thank you for everybody. Give yourselves a round of applause for participating in our musical and non-musical jam sets this evening. Hooray! Ooh. As our stalling time, as we're getting our headliners, uh, or we're shoving them up the chimney and out into the real world, uh, we're coming to the part of our jam where we uh, take the traditions from somebody else. Um, really appreciate them. Shout out to the Pittsburgh Improv Jam for doing this. Uh, we come from different improv groups. Um, I am from Las Vegas, and our improv uh, improv community I'm so very proud of um, but I also get to travel and see other improv communities I know there's a lot of stuff going on um, and we've kind of created kind of a quasi new one here online too so um, in our tradition that we've been doing if anybody has any events or websites or things they'd like to share with the rest of the community 
um, uh, here um, with everybody in the Zoom room or with those who are watching at home. Uh, we'd love to um, have this time to promote. So I'll go first. Um, I am here in Las Vegas. So we typically have shows on Thursdays and Sundays and every first Friday. So if you happen to be in town or if you're close enough to, from driving distance like LA and that's it. If you're in Vegas or in LA, please let me know. Um, so we can hook you up and show you a little bit of the city and see what's going on here in Las Vegas. As well as a reminder, um, if you uh, have any, if anybody out there is listening, we are looking to book teams in January, February, March. So please reach out to me. We'd love to showcase you as we approach uh, episode 100. Um, if you have anything you'd like to share, please um, come turn on this camera and um, we'll give you a chance to give you a shout out position. So who would like to come up? Don't be shy. Turn on the camera. We're starting off with Brian Subby. Yeah. Uh, um, so every summer I have been going to uh, an event called the Improv Retreat, which got canceled last two years because of COVID, but is now coming back next year. And a bunch of folks from inner city, I convinced already to sign up. So if you're interested, I believe it's just the Improv Retreat.com. It is the week after uh, Memorial Day. So June 2nd through the 4th, I believe. Uh, and it will be in Michigan, about 45 miles northwest of Detroit. It's a new facility for us because last year, uh, we for the first seven years of the retreat, we've been at a really cool place in Wisconsin, but they decided post-COVID not to uh, rent to outside groups, so we had to find a new place to go. But um, anyway, it's an amazing weekend. I'd love to see more people there. So if you're interested in, in the area, um, hope sign up, and I'll put that in the chat in the group. All right, oh. thank you, Brian. Um, Improv Retreat is run by one of my, a couple of my good friends, not good, we know each other. Um, Rance and Tara, Tara and Rance from the Nest Theater in Columbus, Ohio. Um, comedy sports people, please support them. Uh, they run a wonderful um, improv experience. Mindy from California. Hey, hey, I wanna let everyone know that uh, a trio friend of, group, group friend of mine, they're called Mini Fridge on Twitch. <laughs> um they are doing a show they're doing one show a day for 31 days during december and they are fantastic so look up mini fridge on twitch and i'm going to be doing a, a monologue for their amanda that they're going to be doing uh i don't know when but one day during this month i'm going to be doing it so yeah check them out mini fridge they are from Lithuania, South Africa, and another place in Europe, but uh, they're fantastic. Wow, many, that's a crazy, they're all going together on Twitch. Uh, maybe also send them this way so we can feature them there, but I understand that time zones aren't really friendly outside North America. Um, so thank you for sharing that. Please check out Minifridge, check them out on Twitch and all the socials. Anybody else like to share a thing? We have a genie. Uh, okay. Um, it looks like we're getting close to our time. Anybody else want to share a thing? David, what do you got? Uh, a lot more better improv and self-expression. <clears throat> Originally uh, ran by our friend Michael Rakowski. Still run by him. Uh, Blue Improv uh, Jam every Monday night. Uh, I believe that's 8 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Central. Come and get a little, uh, a little blue and a little... Uh, PG-13, maybe NC-17. Remember those, NC-17? I think NC... I, I was That's 17. Maybe we'll we'll X, pre, pre X before the actual stuff. Oh. Before uh, we part of X. <laughs> See um, thank you for sharing, David. Uh, we do have some limitations because we do stream on Facebook. Of course. Um, <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, the jet, the blue the blue humor jam that's hosted by a, a, lot, a lot better improv and self-expression um they're not streamed so if you're not comfortable with being on camera for live streaming and you want to just kind of let loose and be all rated pg-13 on each other um, then check it out uh, michael workhouse is a good friend of ours so please check out their jam angel we're here doing the sharing would you like to share oh yes yeah are you sharing the team or no are you sharing uh, the team? yeah we will also yeah uh, share the team but uh, before just uh, um like to uh, say i'm part of a group called the professionals and every monday uh we have half an hour show uh it starts at 7 p.m eastern time um and uh, um, it's always on the facebook page um socially decent improve so if anyone would like to to watch thank you thank you very much uh yeah 
um, in professionals. Um, one of the one of the member, couple, a few of the members have also been really active. Them themselves have been active. I'm thinking I want to shout out to and, uh, Andy Abramson, who's also been a huge part of um, maintaining the improv community online from from New York. So uh, please support them and social distance social distance improv for that stuff. Um, very good. Is there anybody else I'd like to share the things? Last call. Give me a five. 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 Give me a four. 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 Give me a three. Three. Come to. Do we have to start over if we all get to at the same time? No, it's not an improv exercise. Uh, we're, One. We're all right. Well, all right, we're not. Right, we're getting up. Um, yeah. Again, if you have any, um, we have had a couple of links shared um, in the Zoom chat here. Um, also, if you're in the Zoom chat, uh, scroll up a little bit. Please support. Um, agent for be able to come in to play the musical improv set earlier um all those things remember stick around for our line game and all the hangouts afterwards but before that i am super super excited to introduce this team um i i love improv i spend my time i'm willing to be tired for it but also um i saw this team i was super fascinated by their ability to use technology and just different ways of storytelling which is why I'm very excited that when Jennifer came with the idea, like let's we got to click on there. So, without further ado, all the way uh, split time zones from the United Kingdom and the United States. Uh, very happy to introduce everybody here and on Facebook. This is Ricochet Im Il Rick Ball. <laughs> Ricochet Illustrated Improv. Give it up, everybody. Ooh. Ooh. Yay! Yay. Hey everyone, um, not all of us will be on screen during this because we have some illustrators who will be sketching the scenes and some some others of us will be voicing the scenes. So could we have a one word suggestion, please? Stew. Stew. It has to be food. Stew. Okay. <laughs> stew. 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 Well, I hope you like it. I've never made it with this recipe before. I found it up in a granny's um, um, chest up in the attic. And I thought mm -hmm. it'd be a whirl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are these little like green little specks inside? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just uh, just following the directions. Uh, I think they're called lentils, but I'm not sure. Uh, oh my know. goodness, they're so hard. <laughs> you know, Jonathan's. you know, Granny. You know, I don't know whether you know this, but Granny actually dabbled in the dark, in the dark powers, and um, so uh, Gosh only knows what this uh, this stew-like substance substance will do to you and me. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. So oh, what a great, you know, second date. <laughs> I know. Make yeah. your granny stew with these yeah. crunchy lentils. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought, so yeah, cool, I th Jonathan. Yeah. So I thought, you know, if you really want to get to know me, you got to know, you know, my ancestry and, you know, the fact that my grandmother might have been a, a witch back in the day. Okay. And, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's just oh, a part uh, of the palette that is you me. Believe in that stuff, like witchery. That's well, I mean, I mean, I mean <laughs> let's face it. It's a, it's uh -huh. it's a, it's a dark power that's been around for forever, and uh, you know it's been subjugated by the organized religions over the last five, six, seven hundred years. But prior to the you know the the rise of all the main religions um you know the dark earth sciences were uh were the were the uh, standard of the day you you, know? you you're a cardiologist at mass general and you believe yeah. in all this stuff okay okay just uh, checking <laughs> kind of a renaissance man yeah okay yeah. well 
great. I, I'm really looking forward to learning more about your ancestry. And I mean, I suppose, you know, what your, wow, what is else is in this soup? It's like, looks like it's kind of moving. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, Jonathan. Well, I, you know, I was able to get a, a couple of frogs out of the, the lab at Mass General. Uh -huh. and, yeah, and I, I decided that, um, you know, the, the recipe called for, you know, some moving green things. And so okay, I, okay. <laughs> you know, I'm really excited for this movie tonight. Um, um, hey, but when maybe we should like get going, get there early. Sure. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dr. Fletcher, Dr. Fletcher, the, the <clears throat> patient appears to be going into cardiac arrest. Dr. Fletcher. Oh, please, oh dear. Please. Oh dear. All right. Well, um, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Um, let's uh, let's. Uh, why don't we uh, put a uh, some? Oh, 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 oh. Have you been? It sounds like you've been drinking or something. It oh. sound well. Get it together, man. Oh my God! I don't know what to do. Um, look at him; he looks very sick. Um, oh, oh I have to ask: Were you up all night on a wild date? Because you're not acting quite professional right now, Doctor. Oh, Nurse, Nurse Johnson. You know, I I went with the old Granny's recipe again. You know, I thought I'd impress my oh. my date. And now I'm a wreck. I don't know what to do with this poor man's dying on the bed. <laughs> I can't remember anything anymore. May, it's like may I call you Jonathan. Finally, may I just call you Jonathan? Like you, you what am I going to do? You know, this dating world, I'm, I'm not cut out for it. You know, it's ruining me. Every time I go out on a date, I need to impress her so much. I bring out Granny's recipes. We talk of the dark forces, and next thing I know, it's mid morning, and I'm <laughs> over. Oh, Jonathan, Jonathan, I, I I went into the lab to find some replacement hearts, and they're gone. They're gone. Did you take them again for Granny's? Oh, well. Yes, I did. Um, but well, there I... is, is a frog heart. We must insert it into the patient. Oh, dear. Just do it. Just do it. God save his life. Nurse Johnson. Nurse Johnson, I'm glad I, you could come to this meeting with me. Um, it's it's actually about um, Dr. Jonathan Fletcher. I, you know, I um I know you work with him a lot and we have, we have some concerns and we wanted to uh, survey the hospital oh, really? here at Mass General. We're very professional and we've been observing bad behavior, basically. One of those. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to tell me about him? I think uh, you observed him during serious cardiac, cardiology, cardiological surgeries so uh tell me tell me what you observe is he doing his job I'm gonna feel your i'm just gonna feel your terminal okay i see i see you don't really you don't really want to give up give up information about him you don't want to speak candidly you know nurse johnson i want to tell you that here at mass general like uh you have to be you have to put the profession above your own interests and I frankly I don't know what to think about you if you're not willing to disclose you know Dr. Fletcher's conduct um you've heard some disturbing things about you know taking hearts I mean is this is this is this really what's going on is this yeah I see I you know right. your job is on the line Excuse me. Uh, oh, uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Hello, Dr. Yeah. Richter. Uh, yeah, yeah, Dr. Supervisor. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. How are you? Yeah. Um, I'm good. Yeah. I was yeah. looking. For, I was looking for my 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 scalpel. Have you seen my scalpel anywhere? I I put you, it down you, somewhere. You misplaced it. I, sorry. You, are you serious? You've mi you misplaced your scalpel. Yeah, I can't I mean, seem to find. And that's, that thing that I put in my ears that I you know that I. I, I listen to people's hearts with. I can't find that either. Uh, 
Um, Wait. I know I put uh, it down somewhere. Uh, this hmm. is highly irregular, Dr. Fletcher. I Oh, not I, really. I'm, I'm really. so sorry. I, I literally went into a fugue state. It was like my my it was like my my personal mental internet bombed out. But did I hear that he doesn't know the word for a stethoscope anymore? That's yeah, the that one. Seems... That's the one. Oh my goodness. I I you know I it I think both of you will need to be reported at this point. Um, no, come on for now. various yeah. levels come of this conduct. I'm not uh, you'll be hearing from us. Yeah. Listen up, doctor. It's only a uh, little screw up. We all screw up every now and then. What are you perfect every day? You haven't well, misplaced anything in your you whole haven't life. Haven't dropped a, a scalpel inside uh, a patient's duodenum before. Come on, we've all done. Actually, it. no, 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 no. Uh, you you should be among the one percent of uh, doctors. You know, if you're <laughs> last general uh, and nurses. So um, yeah, you'll be hearing from me. All right. Uh, Goodbye. Oh, you are so inconsiderate. That is not fair. Oh, I don't know what we're going to do. This hospital is just so uptight. No, so you know? uptight. Like, we I'm don't so sick. As if, as if conventional medicine is the only way to go. You know, I've yeah. got some recipes from Granny that I think could really set this hospital on fire. And I'm saying that figuratively, not literally, because obviously I don't want to burn the hospital down. But what this hospital needs is a good swift kick in the ass. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah. come on, like some innovative techniques that are in medicine today. They didn't know about them back no. in the dark ages, but no. gosh. You know what we do? Here's what we do. We'll use this table and we'll have a seance tonight. We'll come back tonight at midnight and we'll have a seance and we will bring back the spirit of granny and granny? make her transform this stuffy old mass general hospital into a living, breathing celebration of the dark forces. Yes, with cutting edge technology and, and medicine and, and pills and Potions and, and, and tadpoles and 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 leeches and and and, leeches and, yes, and, leeches. and 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 all sorts of dastardly things that may or may not be beneficial. So we, I will meet you that tonight. Are to result in an untimely end to one's life. Possibly. Yes, well, that shall it be. So be it. That is the way of the life. It's the circuits, the way things go. Maybe you win, maybe you lose. Dr. I will Fletcher, see you. Dr. Fletcher, hmm? Jonathan, if I may say, you are the most innovative physician. Thank you. Thank you, you, make see me you. Swoon. you make me swoon a little bit, I have to confess. See you at midnight. See you at midnight. Jonathan, like, what are we doing at Mass General? Why you? This is our third date, and you're taking me to a hospital. This is so weird. I, oh, it's I, not. No, 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 no. Listen, Gwenny, I think I, you'll enjoy it. This is this is this is up at the top floor. It's it's where huh? they have the special rooms, and um, and uh, we've brought some candles, and okay. uh, we've got this table. We? We, there's another person at our date. Oh, it's going to be a few other people, but they're all really cool. And we're, you just watch. It is going to be so much fun. We are going to have candles, and we're going to recite incantations, and we're going to read from this dark book that has words that we none of us really understand. And then hopefully, listen to this, Gwenny. Remember the, the uh, stew that we had this morning? Or yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah how could I well, we are going to, if if everything goes right, we are going to bring out uh, Granny and have her come and talk to us okay. here at Mass General. Okay. 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 All right. So, okay. uh, so that's uh, you know, your profile. Just like when it said, you know, into dark stuff. I just, yeah. I, I didn't. This is not what I expected. I, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to leave a little bit of ambiguity, you know, I, I think a little mystery is very, very, very kind of sexy, if you know what I mean. Are we going to get arrested? I just, I, I need oh, to, yeah. you know. Yeah. Keep I wouldn't worry job. about that. I mean, we may okay. get arrested, but, you know, I mean, let's face it. What's, you know, what's a couple of days in the, in, in the, in the Hooskow? It's okay. What? You're a cardiologist. Oh, my God. Who's this woman? Who, who's that woman? Who's... Who is that she's woman? like in, in a nurse outfit. 
who is that wow. is that is that a woman or is it a is it is it a being what's going on we haven't even oh, begun hey, to hey johnny it's your grandmother Go oh ahead. my goodness whoa you summoned me oh why hey. did you think this works oh. I can't believe how quick that was. I didn't. We didn't even make any recitations. You are unbelievable. I'm. I've uh, always been I, speedy. I don't do the around. Wow. I, hi, I'm Glenny. Oh my God. I, I've I've never met a ghost. This is like this is crazy. I, I didn't think this stuff worked. Like I, it's an honor, right. I guess. Glenny, Glenny, I'm Glenny, just dating this guy. Her. Johnny, where did her. you find her? Did you find her on Tinder? Granny, first oh of God. all, I, just... I want to apologize for her calling you a ghost. Clearly, you're not a ghost. You're much more oh. than a ghost. When you please a watch the you. nomenclature, you know, okay. we are at a, a seance here and we have to go by the seance oh. rules. And one of the big rules is don't call whatever they are ghosts. They don't I like I that. Like it. We don't like it. It's discriminatory. Uh, I have a corporeal right. presence. I'm here. Yeah. So I'm stereotypical. Going, I don't have any legs. I'm going to remind you, I don't actually have legs. But the rest of me, real. I mean, wow. there's, a, you know, there's a story behind that. Uh, Jonathan was supposed to replace them. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so now I got to no. I sort of have to float around. But so, Johnny, you've been making my stew. Uh, I have, I have. I can't say it's been a total success. It usually makes my stomach rather upset, and I, the next day, I don't remember anything. Uh, I don't know how. I don't even. I don't know where I put my keys. I don't know where I put my my medical devices. It's very really tasty. Bad. It's really bad. I just got to interrupt and just say you got to save. You got to save your grandson because he he's off the deep end in the hospital, and I, he's not listening to me, and and he's doing crazy stuff, and I don't think he can even like operate on people i'm sorry jonathan but somebody's got to shape, shape you up it's just how about crazy. these candles these candles are Johnny. fantastic are they not fantastic granny That's i think they, 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 they summoned me you did something right but you yeah were not, exactly you were i might cardiologist you gotta get with it yeah see see even your grandma says you gotta get with it jonathan yeah can't be yeah can't be doing this bad stuff at the hospital and I, yeah um i think that's what why you summoned your grandma here today kind of shape up your life a little bit right <laughs> well i i you know i no i don't think there's anything wrong with me what's wrong is this staid old hospital that just thinks that they are the hot shit hospital in the world well let me just tell you something they 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 are they they are one of the best hospitals in the region yeah. pretty in the yeah. world yeah yeah sorry um yeah. you're pretty lucky to be a you know a doctor here so um, yeah i don't know i'm having i'm having second thoughts i think this place is not for me too hot too too uptight uptight hospital johnny, johnny maybe you uh, ought to open, open your own hospital there's an oh. idea there's I'm getting a little hot. one of these candles is like right under my nethers so oh I my goodness there's a fire oh my goodness granny granny's clothes are on fire oh, oh god whoa oh. Granny. Oh. granny 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 i need burning. your guidance don't go oh away. my don't goodness up, granny don't go oh, away i go, I go. Don't we need go you. away granny oh, we don't need we need you tell jonathan to shape up his life johnny, oh my goodness johnny, make the most of your life <laughs> oh. granny oh. granny don't, don't you walk so frog hearts in human chest cavities oh. to oh my goodness oh i'm on my own oh oh dear Gee, we were just exchanging pleasantries. We were barely able to scratch the surface of all the things I wanted to ask her about. Oh, oh well. Tomorrow's a new day. Well, Dr. Fletcher, um, you know, calling you in and because uh, I, I noticed you, you made a turnaround. You made some turnarounds. Uh, somebody gave you some good advice. So we decided to keep you here uh, at Mass General. Uh, Notice you did some pretty successful uh, 
you know, operations, the uh, bypass, triple bypass was a great success. So uh, I don't know who yeah. did it. I don't know who did it, but, you know, you, you're going to keep your job. Keep your yeah, job. well, it was me, you know. Uh, I woke up this morning and uh, suddenly everything became clear and, uh, you know, uh, double bypass uh, no problem uh, you know uh, angioplasty et cetera, et cetera, no big deal wow wow uh, wow it's, it's wild it's wild i don't know what happened to me last night but i am on fire you throw a medical problem in front of me and this doctor is going to take care of it asap stead you name it. You throw in any of the medical nomenclature, and I am there in spades. Oh, well, right. um, great. We'll put you on double duty, and you know, actually, there's like apparently there's a lot more hearts now in the hospital. So um, I don't know where they were going before, but uh, you know, we can uh, just book you, book you a few operations a day. So, book uh, me, book good. me as much as you want. In fact, you're not Great. looking too well. Would you like me to fix that nose of yours? Because I'm also good in that too. I can fix your nose. You want me to fix your nose? I'll uh, fix your nose. Come on, I'll do uh, it right now. Come on, give me that nose. Give me uh, that nose. Come on, uh, come on. I, give me that I nose. Know. You want it long? You or, want it short? Come on. What do you want? I, How do you want your nose? Come on. I think I'm good. I, don't, uh, you know, but uh, uh, maybe we could come talk on. about talk about it another time i don't no, know now's the time let me fix that nose you, you, think, fix you that think, nose. think you think uh, I, i've always wanted to look a little bit like colin uh powell he's colin uh powell. Just, you want the colin yeah. powell nose i got the colin powell nose give me that nose yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah. erase that nose right now give me that want to look authoritative you know direction yeah. have direction you can do that yeah. for me yeah there we go there we go first we got to get rid of the old nose and in with the new nose do you want the colin powell uh the early column there all right that's more okay. of a i mean it's more of a but, uh, thomas Paine <laughs> nose um uh i'm, I'm sorry, sorry you're yeah. just throwing plastic <laughs> noses on me uh yeah it's yeah. kind of ridiculous yeah well let's you know let's look we've got time we've got plenty i got a i got a whole pocket full of noses i can put on there yeah um, well yeah. i gotta i gotta i gotta uh, get uh, i gotta I got to talk to uh, Nurse Johnson, actually. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we have to let her go. Um, so that's my next my next meeting. But, uh, you know, really keep glad to keep you on, Dr. Fletcher. Um, you know, keep up the good work and uh, yeah. we will. So just, we will. Yeah. So yeah. look, just uh, keep that hand on the nose for a while. And uh, okay. you might want to keep it on there for a good 24 to 48 hours. And you tell the nurse to, to come and visit me sometime because uh, maybe I can help her out as well. Okay. Okay. Sure well, she's, she's going to get fired actually, unfortunately. Uh, uh, you know, be, okay. Her thought she had terrible misconduct. Uh, she wouldn't, uh, you know, confess anything about your your behavior at the hospital so unfortunately she has to go but since you improved um we'll, we'll keep you but you know sack her so um yeah yeah, Supervisor, yeah. i know you called me in here for yeah then but i just want to compliment you i don't know what you did i don't know if it's, is it a new outfit you changed something i don't know what it was you are looking really um regal i don't know it's like a almost like a reminds me of Cleopatra or maybe Jimmy Durante. I I don't know. I can't place it. Something something. It's Thomas Paine. It's Thomas Paine. Yeah, Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine. Okay. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you privately for a minute. I have something to tell you. <clears throat> to 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 to. to. To me, yes, you want to talk to yes, me? Yes, uh -huh. yes. Okay, okay, yeah, sure, yeah. Let's go to the next room. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Bye, Dr. Fletcher. Right, bye. Yeah. What, 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 what do you mean? I can't lose my job. I can't. Yeah. And if you'll keep me here, I, I, I will tell you what's been going on with the, with the diabolical Jonathan Fletcher, MD. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, you know, he's been he's been doing really well ever ever since you know just like last week after the long evening you know um apparently he he just shaped up 
uh, had a, he had a long evening of surgeries and, and they, and it's apparently they really well. So we're going to keep him, but we're going to have to fire you. Um, oh, no. so, have, have you followed up on any of his patients? Hmm? Uh, no, no. He just, she just said it went well. So, you know, said it went well. Okay. Well, yeah, I guarantee yeah. that all of them are uh, expired. <laughs> I don't no. know. I mean, it's likely. I don't know for sure, but you, um, you keep clutching he, his nose. He, he, he got a hold of you, didn't he? Oh, my God. Oh, he, he put these stupid fake noses on. What, what are, you, are you saying that, 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 that our doctor has killed his patients or they are they just in another realm intentional i'm saying he's really oh. incompetent okay um he okay all right okay. I just want to give it all up do you know where he gets these noses no i i i figured it was in our you know with the rest of our uh they our, are he gets them on the dark web he gets them i don't know where he gets them but they are not uh, not, not part of our inventory okay Standard, um, um you know, hospital mass general protocol so oh here you go i've given it up <sighs> okay I don't um know. i don't know what to say it's uh you know it's your word against his i suppose i could follow up with these patients uh but uh as far as i know he's doing a great job nurse johnson and um honestly i I don't know. I'm like inclined to just uh, keep them on and things are going well. And yeah, unfortunately. I mean, we are getting a lot more customers here at the hospital. You have a good point. Yeah. yeah. So business had, had dwindled. We are. Yeah, more. there you go. Something's People coming uh, in. They're coming out. Sometimes they're checking in. Sometimes they don't check out. But the point is they check in. Okay. Yeah, so, they check in. Uh, Lucinda, well, welcome to my attic. Uh, you're, this is <laughs> our a second date. date. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, wait a second. Re but well, um, I mean, that first okay. date was really just nothing really. This is this is the real date now. Okay. okay. Wow. Yeah. I, so I, I always like to bring my second dates up here because this is where the rubber meets the road, if you will. Uh, because oh. this is where my Grammy um, um, has kept her, her valuables and um, I like to go through her chests and see uh -oh. if there's anything um, magical or dark in there. Would you like to explore the chests with me, Lucinda? Um, this is, gee gosh, in your profile, you know, you said you like to collect things and I just didn't think it was going to be like people's stuff in an attic like your grandmother's um yeah, yeah. oh yeah. um it's sure fun. let's it's look good. together yeah. okay. you know Lucinda I gotta tell you there's something about your nose I think you know as you know I'm a I'm a certified doctor at Mass General in and cardiology I'm, right uh, you know I mean, <laughs> okay. uh, cardiology you name it I'm I'm kind of a jack of all trades and you know I've been moving towards uh you know uh artificial uh, face lifting and stuff like that and I'm wondering if maybe your nose can't uh use a little tweak uh, would that be uh. wrong for me to say Oh, uh, that's a little forward on a second date. I, um, you know, I thought you kind of like, like how I looked and everything because I put my photo in the profile. Um, yeah, maybe not tonight. Um, maybe would, you mind? Time. would you mind Daddy. if I put my, Daddy, I put my yeah. grandmother, get her oh my, nose. oh my God, who is this? Get what is going nose. on? It's a perfect little snub nose. Get it, get it, Johnny. Yeah, I let me think that. Let me just let me just if I can just grab that nose and and give it a oh, good tug. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. It'd be fine. Don't worry. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Oh, for goodness yeah. sakes, I, doctors always know what they're doing. So come over here and let me grab that nose, and I'll give you a new nose, and everything will be okay. And then we can <sighs> eat my granny's stew, and then let's see. The, oh, granny, granny, say hello to yeah. you. Tell me, does she or does she not need a new nose? 
Oh, she needs a new nose. She and needs a new nose. nose. Oh, my goodness. And she ever since then, Dr. Jonathan Fletcher continued to fix people's noses and introduce them to his, well, his grandmother in the attic. And eventually he made, you know, he met his once and for all lady who was also really into noses and seances and befriended his grandmother and well Dr. Fletcher did eventually get mm, sacked at Mass General and Nurse Johnson fortunately kept her job and well Dr. Fletcher lived happily ever after with his wonderful wife of a new nose and grandmother granny kept making her soup in the attic for them. <laughs> Yay, <see. laughs> Give it up for Ricochet Ooh. Illustrated Improv. Ooh. Everyone turn on the cameras and say hello. Oh my God. Amazing. Ooh. Let's see the full thing. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let's show the full thing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> All of the Ooh. scenes. Oh my God. Never seen anything like that. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for. Right. Um, for sharing your talents and just the combining the visual storytelling with the improv is fantastic. And again, thank you for coming on. Um, was there any, uh, since we did our sharing when you came in, is there, we'd like to do any plugs on social media or events that you'll be doing in the future that we could follow you or support you at? Uh, yes, but I don't know offhand what they are. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but if you look up Ricochet on Facebook, you'll see some of our other performances, so you'll get an idea of what we're all about. And uh, we think it's a kind of a fun and a, an interesting little tangent in the world of improv. So uh, keep an eye on us. Thanks. All right. Once again, give it up for Ricochet. Uh, yes, so wonderful. Thank you very much. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah. So new, so fresh. Love it. Yeah, we now um, we start wrapping up the evening. Um, we, we end on and uh, we we end with a high note. But how can we do a higher note than that? We uh, we end with a line game. So um, for members of uh, a regular shape line to participate, that's um, you're welcome to join us. Um, the line game that I came up with, inspired by our set, is diagnoses or dumb diagnoses. I'm not sure. Uh, was really inspired by noses and witchcraft, but I figured uh, just to not get in too much in trouble, a lot of mentioning of doctors and trying to fix things. So um, we're gonna, uh, the, the setup is this, let me actually double check what I wrote down. These are my notes. Um, you're being diagnosed with blank disease or you're being diagnosed with uh, blank syndrome because punchline. So for example, um, if I were if I were a doctor of bananas, I'm going to diagnose you with banana syndrome because I just think you're bananas. Simple as that. Um, so uh, anybody who wants to be a doctor and diagnose you with blank, the suggestion because punchline and punnery, um, come up on screen, I'll call you one at a time and then just stay on screen until I call on you so then we know that you wanna participate in this one. Anybody can participate, um, but still the, uh, the sensitivity stuff still applies. So without further ado, I have been drinking Coke this entire time. What is your uh, favorite beverage? Vodka. <laughs> I guess we're going with it. Um, let's do, uh, yes, I'm diagnosing you with vodka syndrome because uh, punchline. If you have any ideas for pun, fun out there, uh, come up on screen. We'll do it uh, one at a time. I guess I'll go first. <laughs> Um, I am not going to diagnose you with Volca disease because I think you're rig, you're being rigatoni, Tony's popped out. There you go. There you are. All right, Dave Shapiro. Diagnosing you with vodka disease. I think you caught it on your recent trip to Moscow. Oh, mm. geographical humor. Yes. Maybe. I'm diagnosing you with vodka disease because you vodka all the time. Vodka, you've been the verb sense. Uh, we got uh, Katya. 
Uh, I'm diagnosing you with vodka disease because it seems that you're out of spirits. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Jennifer. I'm diagnosing you with vodka disease. You have not been a Tito. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I am afraid you have Vodka! 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 I'm sorry, I need water. <laughs> yeah, uh, water with lemon, please. Uh, Brian Subby from Wheaton. Uh, I'm diagnosing you with vodka disease. I, I think you're unfortunately too much of a couch potato. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, Greg Goose, you kidding me? Uh, and then Al, um, Al, before we go to our next one. I'm diagnosing you with vodka syndrome, and that is absolute. Oh, oh nice. Oh Speaking of absolutes, uh, let's get a geographical location like a Starbucks or the surface of the sun. Um, Non-geographical location. I think the surface of the sun is geographical. What is a location that we can use? Swimming pool. All right, we're going to diagnose people with swimming swimming pool uh, syndrome. Uh, for example, um, I'm going to diagnose you with swimming pool syndrome because I think your test results have been going swimmingly. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, David Shapiro. I'm, like, I'm going to test you for, doc, for a swimming pool disease, uh, but I got to wait 30 minutes because you just ate. Oh, oh nice. Since Katya is on, still on the screen, you got one for swimming pool. <laughs> Oops, uh, I'm going to diagnose you with swimming pool disease uh, because you're you're waiting too long. Yeah. <laughs> All right, pretty shallow indeed. Uh, Brian Seppi. I'm afraid I'm going to diagnose you with, with, with swimming pool disease because um, all your vitals have just taken a dive. <laughs> oh. uh, Al from uh, Bay Area. I'm going to diagnose you with swimming pool disease but the good news is you didn't have a stroke. Wow. Oh. That's, 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 uh, we, we all, we're glad we don't have that. Two more, Angela. Oh, I'm diagnosing you with swimming pool disease because you have been working too much and all you need is holidays. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there's this holidays swimming in the pool. Uh, Danelle. I am diagnosing you with swimming pool disease, but no worries, no worries. We have a new filter for that. Oh, <laughs> God. All right. Oh, my goodness. Um, we're going to, uh, just going so well, we're going to do one more suggestion and see how that goes. Um, since we had uh, a lot of illustrations in this last set, uh, we're going to go with what's your favorite cartoon character? Let's get weird. What's no, not weird? Don't show me weird cartoon just name a cartoon. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown? Charlie Brown. Uh, Charlie, Charlie Brown or the universe of the peanut Snoopy. Um, that is our suggestion. Uh, we have a diagnosis. For example, I'm going to uh, diagnose you with a peppermint patty disease because, <laughs> oh, Mio Bobino Caro, you're going to die someday. <laughs> That's dark uh, and obscure. Uh, anybody got one? I diagnosed you with the little yellow bird disease. I think you got it at Woodstock. Whoa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. oh, I want to call him out on that, but let's get some more peanut-related <laughs> diagnoses. Oh, I'm diagnosing with peanut disease because, you know, hey, you're allergic and sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else with uh, anyone think from the peanuts? I don't know why you have so much dirt around you but i'm i'm guessing that it's from the peanuts character that had all the dirt running around him pig pen pig pen, pig pen. <laughs> you're a pig pen pig pen disease because you're just dirty all over oh no but when, i'm gonna uh, diagnose you from lucy's uh five cent advice booth um but the time is running short, so you're going to have to come back next <laughs> week so I can give you the diagnosis. Well, right. we're never going to get the diagnosis ever again. Uh, David Shapiro. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you're going to have uh, Charlie Brown trying to get to the football disease, but don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to kick it. Gonna kick it. We're looking for an out now. Uh, thank you, Joshua. Looking out for an out for peanuts. Yes, Brian. 
Uh, so I'm going to diagnose you with pants disease, and I've got some information here. Just listen carefully. Wow, 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 So good. We can't. I can't understand you. We can't continue on uh, because all my prescription scripts are written in that language too. So, uh, that has been uh, diagnoses or dumb diagnoses, whatever. Give yourselves uh, a round of applause for participating in this weird, obscure line game we just came up with. Ooh. Um, once again, um, before we officially head out, before uh, let's have everyone who's been a volunteer on screen come up and give them a round of applause for helping run today's jam, including um, um, Mindy, who's also now been deemed. Yay! Hooray! Woo Hooray! Hooray! Thank you, everybody who helped participate in, in throwing in the jam today. And also have everybody else come on screen who participated in the jam who's still here and also anyone who's uh, considered a member of Ricochet, come up on screen. That includes everybody. Hey, thank you so much for being here. You could get in here, else. all you improvisers. Yeah, um, you literally could have done anything else, and you instead you decided to support um, staying connected through uh, improv and specifically online because that's what we're doing. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my name is Faustino. Uh, I've been your host this evening. Give it up for Brian Subby, who's been our technical host. Woo. And um, before we do, uh, leave, we do have a couple traditions. The first one is we're going to take a group photo for the Instagram. So go ahead and get in your favorite fun pose. And Brian's going to count us out for a photo. Uh, three, two, one, photo. Oops, I didn't do that right. Uh, three, <laughs> two, one, photo. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> there, I got, I, got, I got like three of them, so we're good. All right. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. Go ahead and wave bye to the cameras as we sign off, as we always do. Please come by next week for Hamlock from New, York, from New York City. This has been the Intercity Long Form Improv Jam. Yay. Bye.